Oh, sorry to startle you. I just wanted to introduce myself before the big game today. I know we're both people of faith, but I just know I'm not taking it easy on you out there. Well, I appreciate the warning, sister. But just know, I'm not going to take it easy on you either. And you should also know, back in Lancaster, they used to call me Juicy J because my jump shot's so wet. Hey, just know, you're going to need some divine intervention to beat me today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode one of World Basketball Entertainment. I'm Keith the Mouth Rockwell, and by my side, as always, Kenny the Champ Ballstein. And we saw that earlier today, uh, Sister Catherine and Jebediah Boo are meeting face-to-face. -face. They will go one-on-one -on -one tonight in a big-time main event basketball match. That is going to be a really good one, Keith. It really is, but that's later on. Right now, we're supposed to be having a matchup between Franklin Asma and Dale Crockett. You see Franklin here, I guess you could call it warming up. <laughs> he is not Start. looking very good. He looks better than Dale Crockett, though, because Dale is not here. And uh, yeah, Franklin here, he? obviously, he is pretty frustrated by Dale's lack of punctuality. And I read the rule manual, and it uh, says... He, he's he's thinking he should get a forfeit win, and if Dale really... doesn't show up, that is exactly what will happen. Um, fast forward a little bit here, folks. Dale Crockett there did show up. He is here. And we've got highlights of the game here. We're not going to show you the full game, because uh, to say it was not competitive is a bit of an understatement. Um, yeah, it's a bit, bit one-sided affair, with Keith. Unorthodox defense by Franklin. And a slam! Adam. Does not do the trick. Uh, one nothing Dale here. At this point, it's oh. six to nothing. Big block by Dale. Not Crockett. pretty for Franklin. Oh, not at all. And here's game point here. Uh, Franklin needs a stop. Is he gonna come up with it? The answer it is, is no. no easy no, bucket no, for no, Dale no. Crockett. He wins seven to nothing. A blowout win. Dale Crockett over Franklin Asma. <laughs> Kyle! Hi, how are you doing, Kyle? Are you ready for a big game today? I'm super excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous. You know, I really, really want to win. I really want to start this tournament with a win. And getting a win would mean so much to me, and I think I can even make it worth your while. If you know what I'm saying. Alright, bet! Alright, pal. Well, see you after. I'm a klutz. Bye, Kyle! More highlights here from our second matchup. Again, not showing the full game because it's really a lack of competitiveness in this one as well. Um, and I don't know about you, Kenny, but it, it did not seem like Kyle Chad was very interested in this game. Yes, no I do there. not know what is up with him. He um, definitely looks off. Uh, maybe blinded by the beauty of Hannah Ma Alabama. She is gorgeous. Uh, obviously a very gorgeous young woman, but you see here it's 6 nothing at this point, and Hannah Alabama with the easy bucket. She wins 7 to nothing. Uh, lack of effort from Kyle Chad here, and it could cost him. Oh, that's a good one. Hannah, congrats on the dog today. You played great. Thank you. I believe you said you were going to make it worth my while. Kyle, that was such a good thing of you to do. You are such a good friend. So since you did me that favor, I am going to make it worth your while. I'm going to give you a big friend hug. Bro! Thank you, Kyle. Bro! Bye! Dan Smith, I presume? Yes, Dan Smith. Mr. Lloyd from Lloyd, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Lloyd. You and I are playing a game? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, I hear that you have a Pontiac sale. Which I, I do, do. Yeah, I do, I do. Well, what if I were to tell you that I could get you not only the $2,000 you need to pay off that Pontiac sale, so an additional $2,000 just going to be a pocket change for yourself, and all you would have to do is make sure I win this game today. It's a nice offer, Mr. Lloyd, but I like to do things fair and square. I'd, I'd rather earn it. Okay. Well, I just want you to know this is a one-time offer. If you don't take it, you will rue the day you cross Mr. Wellington Lloyd. Imbecile. Do it, sir. Here we go. Matchup three of the day. Dan Smith versus Mr. Wellington Lloyd. Hopefully a competitive game here, Kenny. The other two have been blowouts. There's a block from Dan Smith right out of the gate. And, whoa, okay. Using all the rim there, Dan. Oh, all right. It's not always pretty, but a point's a point. One nothing. Dan Smith takes the lead. And you got to give credit to Dan Smith not taking Mr. Lyons from always bribe. He's going to play. He's here to win. Hey, he, he's an honest fellow. What, what else can you say about him? And the banks are open for Mr. Lloyd. The banks always open for Mr. Wellington Lloyd as he takes a 2-1 lead. The banks always open Talking a little bit of trash there as Mr. Wellington Lloyd. No surprise there. Dan Smith, pump fake. Wellington Lloyd keeps his feet. A little floater by Dan okay, Smith. Okay, that was pretty nice. All right, this is already the best game of the day, Kenny. Much more competitive than the last two. It's 2-2. Two -two. And 
behind Wellington Lloyd up top. What's he looking uh, Unorthodox for? style of defense there by Dan. He's crossing him up. Another step back three. Oh, Bang. just a picture perfect jumper there, Keith. Mr. Wellington Lloyd, 4 to 2, takes the lead. Like him or not, whether you like his attitude, you got to respect his talent. I'll tell you something about uh, Mr. Lloyd. You know, he recently has gotten into the frozen yogurt business, Keith. Well, Mr. Wellington Lloyd has his hands in all kinds of. Uh, Ventures here, and yeah, there's not much that he doesn't do. That is true. Another another step back through this time oh. he's off the mark. Dan Smith chases down the rebound. Oh goodness! Slam! Watch out below. Mr. Wellington Lloyd's trying to shake that one off. We'll see what he can do. Dan Smith cuts the deficit to one. Four three game here, Mr. Wellington Lloyd. Oh, oh up fake. Oh, bringing Mr. it right back. That was a sweet little move there by Mr. Wellington Lloyd. Another it's bank there, Keith. Five to three. He he uses that backboard. Oh, just to missed. Off the mark. Saves Lloyd. it from going out. What's he going to do with it? Going Takes it in. Oh. Ugly oh. shot there. He wants a foul. Uh, not gonna yeah. get it. Oh, Dan. Dan second slam of the game. That makes it a 5-4 game here. This is tight. Mr. Wellington Lloyd. Looking to lull Dan Smith to sleep here. Pulls up off the mark. And I feel like Wellington Lloyd's getting a little bit lazy at this point. Yeah, that looked a little lackadaisical, that's for sure. Maybe get to the rim. He's settling oh, for jumpers. Is it it? Oh, try the, try the Wellington Lloyd bank. No dice. Not open for him today. Wellington Lloyd, another jump shot. Off the mark again. Dan Smith corrals the rebound. A little slow going now between these two. Yeah, they started hot. To, oh, oh a right-hander. Okay. And that's a tied game. Dan Smith this is, a, this is a good one. Five to five. Wellington Lloyd crosses over. Dan Smith, good defense, staying in front of him. A floater. Off, Off the mark. Go. You and know, Dan I once Smith. split a cab in Tulsa with Dan Smith. He picked up the whole tab. He is a... He's just a stand-up guy. Know, I don't know if he's the best player in this league, but he is certainly nice. Oh, oh and he got crossed up. <laughs> he did. As nice as he is, sometimes nice those things happen. Last sometimes. It's six to five. Dan Smith, what's he going to do? He needs a score. Oh, Off that is not it. it. This is for the win, Keith. This is his game point if he scores. Dan Smith Backing him down. Back oh! oh, my goodness. That is that a Bush League move. That, that is, is not Bush what we want to see here. Despicable, but that's the win. Mr. Mr. Wellington Lloyd, and it's a shame such a game ended in such a fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event. Jebediah Beeler going to take on Sister Catherine. Jebediah Beeler, three-time MVP of the Amish League, Kenny. And those Amish boys can play. <laughs> they sure can. Look at him warming up. He he seems like he's really got it tonight. He looks ready to roll. Oh, here comes Catherine. Pumping up the crowd. Oh, man, look at that. That's like a no-looker. Sister Catherine, she is a competitive gal. Yes, and she's fiery, that's for sure. We saw a little bit of trash talk from her earlier, and the thing about her, Kenny, is she can back it up. She's a talented lady, and here we go. Here we go. Way. Right off, right off and running with the action here. Jebediah pulls up. Big jumper. Gate right off, off the, the back. Mark. Good board by Sister Catherine. She's got some. She's, she's got those post, post moves. Post Look at that. Oh, Ugly shot there, though. Good moves, bad shot, Keith. That's what. The, what do they say? A million dollar move and a and a, and a penny finish. Yep, that, that's that, it. And Jeb's trying to show off his post moves now. Little hook shot. Oh, okay. Right through the bottom. Nice. Jebediah Beeler, he's talking. We have a fan on the court. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody, uh, somebody get your child here. And it and... seems to have thrown the players off. His sister, Catherine, yeah, yeah, yeah. A-mails that one. At least I hope that's what it was. <clears throat> I hope that's just not a regular shot from sister Catherine. You know, she, she has been known to fall apart in times in, in the, uh, the Catholic League. So. You're saying she does not have the ice holy water ice in her veins. Not all the time, and she's going to hustle for that rebound. Though. Going in strong. Oh, a little too oh, strong, nice though. There. Sister Catherine, a little off her game early here. Jebediah Beeler. And that uh, also off. Juicy J's jump shot not looking so wet there. Jebediah Beeler, bad shot. Uh, let's see if Sister Catherine can get something going here. Oh, oh, That's not, go. not so is, much. It is still one to nothing. Yeah, definitely off their rhythm, both yeah, of them. I don't want to say it's good defense because I don't necessarily think it is. Oh, there's a good bank. And it's two to nothing. And, you know, in a game to seven, a two-point deficit is its a pretty big deal. Sister Catherine looking for tie. Okay. Oh, okay, now we're off and running, Keith. We let's go. We got ourselves a game, Kenny. Two-two. Sister Catherine, oh. Defense. You know, I heard Jebediah started his career with a wooden basketball. That is true, and I, you know, you know how hard it is to dribble a wooden that basketball? That would not be easy. Oh, a little up nice Jebediah Beeler, you know, that's, wow. 
when you practice with a wooden basketball, you're able to pull you off moves, moves like, like that. that. That's that's and for it sure. Is three to two. Jebediah takes control. Sister Catherine, a couple jab steps there. Looking to go in the Backing them down, backing them down. Sister oh. Catherine does have the height advantage in this She's game. been very close to finishing a couple times there. Oh, oh, we're right back out of bounds. Let's check it back up. The jump shot is looking dry. <laughs> it is a 3 2 game here. A lot of. Oh, quick shot, quick shot. Oh. And that is the first lead of the game for Sister Catherine, who's down 2 nothing in this one. She's this now is, this, three. this has turned around fast. Jebediah has got to get buckets here. He, he has looked a little off his game. And oh, and a block. And, and a big slam. Oh. That could be the turning point of this game. Holy dunk there. And oh, my goodness. Oh, right back oh, to it. Goodness. Oh, a lot of action. <laughs> and a little bit of trash talk there by Jebediah. Jebediah, prime right. screen here, but this is five to four. Sister Callan going for the win. Oh, Three wins in here. Right Jebediah can't throw. corral oh, the rebound. rebound. Sister up Catherine again. Shot up and it's in. Oh! Sister, Sister Catherine, Catherine with the win. Jebediah is heated. What a game, folks. What a night of action here for the World Basketball Entertainment. Thank you for tuning in. Please check us out next time for week two with more action. Thanks for tuning in, folks.